What about the Collatz conjecture? The Collatz conjecture is a mathematical proposal that concerns sequences defined in a peculiar way. Start with any positive integer n. Then each term is obtained from the previous one as follows. If the current term is even, the next term will be one half of its value. If the current term is odd, the next term will be three times the term plus one. The conjecture states that no matter what initial value n, the sequence will always reach one. The conjecture is named after Lothar Collatz, who introduced the idea in 1937. It received plenty of other names, one such being the Syracuse problem. Paul Erdos said about the Collatz conjecture, mathematics is not yet ready for such problems. But if you wish to remember only one name, let us mention Rihu Teres. In 1976 comes out its article A Stopping Time Problem on the Positive Integers in Acta Arithmetica. The Estonian-American mathematician proved that, after repeated application of the Collatz algorithm, almost all numbers wind up lower than where they started. From there, the resulting integer is in the orbit of a smaller integer thus aiming to 1. The Rehoteris theorem can also be expressed as follows Positive integers that submit to Collatz conjecture are of density 1 in the set of natural numbers. This premise is the hard part of the conjecture. What about completing it? The strategy in this matter is elementary. Let us have a look at this chart. The algorithm is conducted in the reverse way. Starting from 1, let us look at the antecedents. Let us observe colors. Integers equal to 0 modulo 3 are in yellow, equal to 1 modulo 3 are in green equal to 2 modulo 3 are in blue. Then focus on the colors distribution. Integers in yellow have yellow antecedents on a mere line. Integers in blue have systematically a green antecedent. Integers in green have either one or two antecedents. Thanks to the later phenomena, a Collatz tree will be able to develop. This ramification event is not rare at all as there are only five distinctive patterns governing the tree growth, of which three split. The growth rate is exponential. More precisely, let us consider, for example, the twelfth rank which is the last line of the following chart. Let us estimate the number of antecedents of each of these integers up to value 100,000. The quantities evolve as shown on this graphic. We see the almost linear growth of the antecedents populations starting from any integer of these integers except, of course, those equal to 0 modulo 3, that is 336 and 48 lying on the x-axis. What is the result of this remark? Let us start from any strictly positive number. If it is equal to 1 modulo 3 or 2 modulo 3, let u supply the Collatz algorithm in the reverse way and form the resulting Collatz tree. If it is equal to 0 modulo 3, let us apply the Collatz algorithm instead of the reverse way rather in the ordinary way. In doing so, we will after a finite number of steps produce an odd integer either 1 modulo 3 or 2 modulo 3. At this lower stage, we then reverse the algorithm in order to generate as previously a Collatz tree again. Let us observe that we started with an arbitrary integer and we get systematically a Collatz tree. Each of these trees has a non-zero ratio of elements at given step n of the reverse algorithm compared to the number of elements within the tree that we get at the same step n starting from 1. This means, the Collatz tree which growth around our arbitrary initial integer has a non-zero asymptotic density compared to the density of the tree stemming from 1. This is simply impossible by Rehoteris theorem. Therefore, there cannot be two independent trees in the set of natural numbers meaning no exemption on the road to 1 for any positive integer. Hence the Collatz conjecture is true. The viewer will find more on the subject at either of the following links. Indeed, the identical asymptotic growth rate for whatever initial integer has to be precisely addressed and proved. 1, of course, needs a more adequate tool to come to this end. We wish you a pleasant reading. What about some comments underneath after that?